I mean, just like just on that. So when it came, obviously the video was sleek as fuck. Excuse my language, but it was sick. Mm. The track was amazing. Where did you find Nipper? Bro, we had this mo- beautiful sliding doors. It was almost was going to be sliding doors moment at a blast show. Yeah, mm. um, he's playing over over in Camden. I was performing, and I'd heard of Nipper. I'd, I'd love the situation tune that he had, and I was kind of just, I was just like on it. I loved his sort of swag. I liked it, it was kind of like hood R and B. Mm. And the videos were always a bit like that too. Mm. But I was like, this is cool. This is so hip hop, but it's so R and B melody. Yeah? Like the nineties, isn't it? He's got nineties about him, hasn't he? Yeah. So nineties. Mm, so mm. we kind of had this moment where we actually met for the first time and we, we exchanged numbers. And then the next thing you know, we got in the studio and he came with tunes and it was kind of like, I was like, wow, these tunes sound wicked. And I said, can I play you this little hook that I've done on this tune? And it was, it was the beat of G love with that hook there. And I wasn't sure if he was going to be fully about it because I was just like, it has got that big papa kind of swag to it. It's like Nate Dogg kind of flow back in the day kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, bro, what's this one? What's, and I've got the, I love that. He got the memo, he understood. And then he yeah. started patting in the verse and then we did the tune together. So I was so nice that he could lean into something that was maybe out of his R&B world of what he's doing right now. Mm-hmm. And also for me to lean into Nipper and we both kind of found each other in the middle and I felt like, the fact that you you're feeling that one means that it, it, we, we 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 nailed it. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. And you took him on on tour with you as well, right? Yes. Um, you took him on tour. That was, I mean, first of all, how was that experience? You know, obviously you, you're basically hand, handing a baton to, to a certain extent to a younger, you know, R and B generation. But also, what off the back of that as well, I wanted to ask about. You know, you would have travelled a lot throughout your 22 years doing this. What have been some of your most memorable places and experiences you've been to? Wow. Um, I mean, I've got to say that to, to bring Nipper onto an arena tour and yeah. to see him excel in front of that many people, especially like a London crowd, like two nights at O2 and bro, seeing my man. I, bro, I went, to, sorry to interrupt you. I went to the no. London, one of the London shows and yeah, literally the person I went with said to me like, this guy is basically, not no disrespect to Nipper, unknown to a certain extent at this level. <laughs> comes onto the stage he walks on the stage like he owns the thing yeah he's like this ain't craig davis show this is a nipper show <laughs> right bro and that's how it felt that's and that was the energy that he gave man and it was so refreshing to see bro we felt that we both felt exactly the same i was yeah. so proud of him when he came on with that swag i was like because we got boy from tottenham you know what i mean say so like this mm-hmm. around the ends doing his thing and then all of a sudden like you're actually over north london you know what i mean at wembley at, O2 Arena, yeah, doing your thing. I was proud. And the fact is, he owned it. And he always would do this thing of like, after the shows, he'd go into the crowd, which yeah. made me, I just loved it because it was so like what I would do if I was like on that wave of like, I've just done an arena show. I ain't going home now. I need to go and swim in this, yeah, this yeah, thing. And he's in the cool. crowd with them. So, yeah, that was wicked to be able to have him on board. And it's funny because even my mum met him at one of the shows and she was like, Craig, he just reminds me of the same as you when you were like at his, at his age, like yeah, same yeah. energy, same passion, knows what he wants to do, is up for some advice, but at the same time, he's very focused, knows what his sound is, doesn't want anyone to mess with that. Love it. 